peepers welcome to my February finishes and I have a few and two diamond painting ones so this was from February 2020 that was for a color-a-thon that was going on on the weekend I think of February 7th and I did this. This is by Grazia Salvo. And this was my freebie. And what I chose to do on my channel. And I used Polychromos. And I believe this here is um, Wink of Stella for the wings. I like how this came out. Very happy with this. have that and then I did a picture I don't know why I keep saying and then but I do I did this picture out of Phantomorphia this was hold on I got to you've got to be able to see this if somebody's going to let you see it so like I said, this was from Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. This was a buddy color with Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures. And I used Prisma colors. I'm doing a video. So, yeah. I seen somebody doing some trees with the pinkish colors, raspberry colors. For like cherry blossoms and other books so I decided to try that so yeah I'm happy with that and I did use prismas on the background and I used a black fine liner <sighs> um come on she almost hit click stop recording <clears throat> So I used the Prisma colors in the background, and I used a fine liner on the birds, and I used a Posca pen or a white gel pen for because it's getting where it's turning dark, nighttime. So I did that, and I did a little bit of white on the water. You can't see it real good, but real lightly. Stop biting me. I did a picture in Fairy Tale Princess by Mystic Art Mirror. Stop biting me. This was a buddy color with Lisa, my friend Lisa Gadbury. And this also counted as Color Your Horde. I did the skin tones with the Black Widow skin tone set, and I liked how the skin tones came out. I do not like her eyelashes. I used um, a black fine liner, but it was a thicker fine liner, so I really didn't like how her eyelashes came out. I did use Sargent Art Supreme pencils on the rest of it, and I used a black, or black, a gold gel pen to do the outlines of all the um, artwork, or all the florals and leaves, stems in um, her dress and I used a white Posca pen to go around the outline of this to make it I don't know it just made it more of a snowy lacy effect so yeah and I tried doing the hair on the animals like you do for hair and animals it just I didn't it came out okay, but I did use the white Posca pen again on her on the the bunny tails and on whiskers and then some of the inside of their ears. And that was also a color your horde picture. This is one of the five books that I'm coloring it this year. And I did not put, okay, I did this page here, 
and um, I believe I used Prismas. I, yeah, I believe I used Prismas. I used some gel pens and I used some Wink of Stella. So I wanted like it to look like glass. So I used Wink of Stella there. I used it there. Um, I used some on these little spots here and on like the these clear beads down here i used the wink of stella and on this glass here and i forgot to color the cork oh well so i had done most of it and i didn't know what to color this in with and sammy said to use the same colors that i used on here so they're a little bit different it came out a little bit different i must have used different a little bit of different browns but it's okay i like it i like it so yep <clears throat> i finished a whip that i had started last year in january from color me enchanted and i did this on my channel on color and chats on mondays for coloring so I used gel pens on this page because everything was so intricate. I didn't want to use pencils. So I used gel pens and pit pens. So, yep. And it's got a little bit of glitter going on. A little bit of glitter going on. Yeah. So it was Color Me Enchanted. I colored a picture in daydreams. And this is the picture I colored. Pearl, you need to move. This was a buddy color that I did with Kim T. I used my Arteza pencils and I used pearlescent paints. I used the pearlescent paints in through the this scroll work. So I used the, yeah, I used the pearlescent paints there. I used some gel pens in here and in here on the butterfly. But yeah, I really liked how that came out. That was really pretty. I did a picture in Geomorphia. This is Geomorphia. And I did this picture here with the octopus. This was a buddy color with Catherine and her mom. And I used the Fila pencils. I used, I used a little bit of white Posca paint. I just kind of slashed it across in the water. And I used some gel pens on these little guys here. So that's what I do in all these books whenever they have these little bitty things. I use gel pens. But I thought this came out pretty good. I didn't mind the filas too much in this book. They worked nice. I even did the background with the filas. And I probably could have used a blender on that, but that's okay. The sky is not perfect. But yeah, I liked how that came out. Oops. <laughs> and I worked in Magical Delights by Clara Markova. And I did this page here. And I used my Prisma colors. And I used Neo 2s in the background. And I used some gel pens there and there. And this was a buddy color with Catherine. At least I have it written down that it was. So somebody was having a picnic and they ate a bite out of this big thing. So I don't know what happened to them because this is a huge cookie and there's small little tiny gifts here and the pillows are small, plates and the goblets are small, but this cookie's huge. <laughs> so yeah, that is all my coloring that I did. I pulled this out and worked on this and finished it. 
This is um, Mickey and Minnie, and it's from Everyday Deals. It was $3.99. I paid more in shipping. I think the shipping was 6 But you get free shipping if you spend $35 or more. So you can get like 10, 10 canvases for $3.99 with free shipping. I didn't think this came out bad. I had The drills were really good. I didn't have any issues with the drills. Um, the canvas was easy to read. And I really like this. I had enough drills. I had no problems. And it was round. If you can see, that's round. But yeah, I thought it came out really cute. So that was a finish. And... I finished Salem the Cat. This is a 40 by 55. Isn't it pretty? And this is by Mystical Diamond Art. I loved the canvas. Um, everything was easy to read. I had plenty of drills left over, but I'm noticing some of these are like, I don't know if they're popping. This one's not even stay. This one's not even sticking anymore. I'm going to have to glue that down. I understand that. They all seemed fine at the time. I don't see any missing off of here that popped off. So maybe I just hit it with my finger. I don't know, but yep. I really liked the working on this. Um, their drills are not the best. Was this the one I had issues with? I think so. Yeah, I think these were the ones that um, it would have little bits and pieces sticking off the sides of the drill but I was able to work with them and that was the only problem was just some of them weren't the greatest and I should have taken some of my sparklers and put it in on the cat's eye but I didn't and I can see pieces of wax so I, I still um, have to clean it up get that out of there I still have to clean it up. Not sure how I'm going to frame it or finish it. Might go on canvas. Painter's canvas, stretch canvas, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I still see pieces of um, patty wax. So I still, it, I thought I wiped it down. I guess not. So I have to wipe it down with a baby wipe. But yeah, that was it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I love it. So that was all of my finishes for February. And I thought I did pretty good for colored finishes. Hold on. I'm dropping all kinds of stuff on the floor. But Pearl says goodbye, and she says thank you for watching. And that was all of my finishes, and I'm hoping this month is just as good. I have quite a few things that I want to color. I've already started one. So, yeah, I've got a few color lawns that I want to do. I've got two buddy colors. So, yeah, I'm doing good. So thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And again, this is Shaleen of the Color in Book Nook. Bye-bye.